get a white God? How the, how, how, how the hell we get a white God? A guy that's looking all effeminate, that's going like this and say, I came to save everybody. Right. When the most atrocious thing that happened was the black people. Right. We're still suffering today. We're still suffering today. Understanding of how we know that we're Israelite. Hey God, I need you to pay attention, all right? Because this is very vital and important information. Because he explains something. I'm gonna read this, read Numbers 15 and 38 for me one more time, let's go. Speak unto the children of Israel and bid them that they make them fringes in the border of their garments throughout their generations. And that they put upon the fringe of the borders a ribbon of glue. So why would God have to sit there? He says, put a fringe of a, uh, a ribbon of a border of blue. Why would God have to sit there and say, think about it. Uh -huh. Okay. All right. All right. What about you, Baker? Okay, because, because Baker, this is this is an engagement type of thing, right? The reason why God would sit there and say for you to remember my commandments because he knows that we was going to forget and that we will always need a reminder of what God told us to do. Just like how today, now to, in, in today's time, we forget what God actually looks like. A lot of us will sit there and we'll say that the image of Christ does not matter. We'll sit there and we'll be like, yeah, how, how does Christ look? Oh, he's a spirit. Do you believe that, Baker? Do you believe that God is a spirit? Okay, so he's a spirit. He died and he rose again. So if he was a spirit, right, that means he, he came in the flesh, right? So now here's the real question. What color was that flesh? Basin. You see, you see, you're leading off wrong because you remember what God says for us to remember. His hair was like wool. So, 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 what does that sound like to you? It's like a black man. Guess what Christ, the color of Christ is in his earthly form and his spiritual form. Black. Right. I'm to prove that to you. Watch this. I'm going to start off in Matthew and then we're going to go into Revelation, all right? Give me that in Matthew chapter 2 and verse 13. Because this is something that's fairly, very basic, but a lot of people don't know this. The reason why we don't know this is because a lot of these Christian pastors, what they do, they teach for money. That's why when you go into the Christian church, they'll give you a good song, and after they give you a good song, they'll pass that collection plate away. Do you agree with me, Baker? Because I, I know he does, because... Only spiritual men is going to be able to have eyes to actually see what the Christian church is actually doing. It's nothing but filled with nothing but hypocrites that's within the Christian church. Hey, big bro, what's your name? Huh? Ed, Ed. Well, what we going over right now, we're trying, we're showing, uh, we're showing these brothers here that the so-called blacks, the Hispanics, and the Native American Indians, they are the real Israelites. What I'm touching on right now, I'm explaining to Baker, and this brother over here is that Christ is actually black, and we're going to prove that according to the Bible, because we forgot what God actually looks like. We forgot his true nationality, and for too long we've been walking around worshiping a white God, thinking that God is white. And then what it does, it puts within our mind that we are inferior. Do you agree with me? Watch this. I'm going I'm to prove that to you. Watch. Read. Matthew 2 and 13. The book of Matthew, chapter 2 and verse 13. Uh -huh. And when they were departed, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph in a dream, saying, Arise, and take the young child. The young child is Jesus the Christ. So now, where, where is it, it going to take the young child? Pay attention, pay attention, because this is very important. Because we've actually got to know, hey, you... The image of your dad look like, right? What about your brothers? Yeah, right. You, you, you know what they look like. So that, so that means if you know what they look like, could nobody deceive you? Right now, what we're trying to show you is that our people have been deceived, and we have forgotten what our Christ look like, our Lord and Savior look like, and what God look like. Watch this. Pay attention. Take the young child and his mother and flee into Egypt. Into where? Into Egypt. Into where? Into Egypt. Now pay attention. Where's 
Egypt. Come over here. Y'all know how y'all boys come over here. And you gotta come, 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 come. You see, look at where Egypt is. Where, where, where is Egypt? Now, you see where Cairo is? Where that's at? Where that's at, big bro? That's where? Africa. When we look at Africa or the ancient Egyptians, what color were they? So how the hell we get a white God? How the, how, how, how the hell we get a white God? A God that's looking all effeminate, that's going like this and say, I came to save everybody. Right. When the now, most atrocious thing that happened was the black people. Right. We're still suffering today. We're still suffering today. We're the ones that are low income housing. We're the ones that's on section eight. A lot of us, we're the ones that's coming into America. We're getting deported. We're getting put into Mexico. We're going into Brazil. We got ice cream car on us. Every, every, every place that you walked on, every place our ancestors walked on, belonged to us. But we not getting the promise. The reason, the, the reason why we not getting the promise is because we have been disobedient to God. Right. Stop keeping God's commandments. And because we stop keeping commandments, you know, you, you know what I'm gonna call you. What God says, you turn your back on me, so therefore I turn my back on you. Now you are. What's your nationality? Again? No. What's your nationality? Oh, I'm Dominican Haitian. You're Dominican and Haitian. Where's that found in the Bible? That's God turning his back on us because we did that to him because we didn't want to keep his commandments. What does the word uh, uh, Dominican mean? What does it mean? ¿Qué pasó? Huh? What does it mean? But what about Haitian? What does the word Haitian mean? Because, because, because he's so called Haitian too, but he's from the tribe of Levi. Is your dad Dominican? We, we are what? But a lot of people in the, uh, in the uh, Dominican Republic and Haiti, we don't think that. Because remember what's going on in Haiti. They're building a what? A canal. And we're in every time, every single time that Dominicans, they get a chance to show hatred towards their brother, they will do it. You know the reason why they celebrate Independence Day? It's not ce celebrating Independence Day of white people. It's they celebrating Independence Day because... They ended up getting it from the so-called Haitians. You gotta look up their history, right? So now watch this. The people that are calling themselves Dominican today, right? Come over here, I need y'all to, to see the sign. Hey, how y'all doing, y'all all right? Come over here real quick. You see this sign? Judah, watch this. Benjamin, son of the right, West Indian, Haitian. Levi means going into the Lord. And now we have you, uh, Dominican, Simeon. Meaning what? Hate it. That's what your name means. That's where you come from. And the word uh, Dominican, it means dogs of the Lord. Haitian, it means high mountainous land. We're none of that. Those are people that colonized you and they ended up giving you that name. But now what we're seeing is that the image of Christ is black. Go to Revelation chapter 1 and verse 14. Because a lot of people, we don't know this. We'll walk around, we don't give a damn. As long as we're able to pay our bills, as long as we're able to survive. Because all we're doing is surviving. We're not living. You were brought here as a slave and you are still doing a slave's job. You get the bottom, you, you get the bottom of everything. You're at the bottom. No matter what you do, you can't get on top. It's like, damn, is there a visible barrier? You know who's doing that? That's God. That's Jesus. Doing that, doing that love so much. Doing that, oh, I just love you. Yeah, that's what we do, right? We think that Jesus is all love now. He's a man of war. And the minute that you disrespect him, just like a man sit there, he come up, up over here, he disrespect you, what you gonna do? You gonna fight. Same way. God does the same thing. The minute that we start disrespecting him and what he stands for, which is his laws, he's gonna push back against us. I'm gonna give you nigga names. I'm gonna have the worst of the heathen, the worst of the nations be set over you, to rule over you. Watch this. Revelation chapter one and verse 14. The book of Revelation chapter one and verse 14. Bring it out. His head and his hairs were white like wool. So you see the color of Christ there? So now let's do a comparison. Right? Sometimes I don't like doing it because it gets very repetitive. The reason why it gets repetitive is like, some, but sometimes you gotta be able to see imagery. Right? His head and his hairs were white like wool. So now, 
Y'all can't get there. We're going to get a little bit closer. You know, we're your brethren. You feel me? So, show me who has right willy hair. Y'all just point to it. Who? Oh, him right here? Not him? No, no, no. So, so he's not here. So, he, this is a depiction of what he looks like. We're not saying, hey, bow down and worship this. Nah, we're not saying that. This is a depiction of what he looked like. White woolly hair. And who has woolly hair? He said it. Negroes, black people, Dominicans. At least the Afro ones. <laughs> but they're still Israel. Right? Right? Read. And his, and his eyes were as a flame of fire. He, his eyes were as a flame of fire. Jesus Christ's eyes was red. He does not have red eyes. Pay attention. Look at the difference. Because right now, if you guys pull up the group of God right now, Jesus right now, you guys are not going to get nobody that's black. That's a you guys are not going to get nobody that's black. You sis, sis, come. You, I'm going to just I'm gonna talk to you behind the camera. No worries. I know you might be shy, but I'm going to talk to you because you're my sister. All right? Read this again. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. Jesus Christ's eyes was red as a flame of fire. You know why? Hector, you know why? Because he took wine in moderation. His first miracle was what? Turning water into what? Into wine. God created all of this for us to enjoy. But the thing about us as man, we overindulge and we start abusing the ways of God. Right? Read. And his feet like unto fine brass. And his feet was like? As like unto fine brass. So now, if I look at your feet right now, or if I look at his um, the shin, whatever I'm looking at, right? Doesn't that match the rest of the cut of his body? Could he be orange and then be blue at the, on the top? Things match, bro. Like, you gotta, you, when you read the scriptures, it gotta make sense. So God is giving, some, somebody is giving a description of what God actually looks like. He said his feet was like unto fine brass. When you look at brass or you look at a penny, what color is it? What color is a penny? It's, it's what? It's brown? I want you to say it because for some reason it seems like you might be a little scared. So what color is a penny? It's brown. What color is a penny? It's brown. It's, it's, it's copper. Copper is brown. It's brown. It's brown. And his feet was like unto what? And his feet were like unto fine brass. As if they burned in a furnace. As if they did what? Burned in a furnace. So now you take anything, any material, you start burning it or you burnt it, meaning it starts heating up and it'll start turning red. And after it, it dies down, it turns what? Black. It's black. You take a sheet of paper, you, you light it up and you burn it. What color is the piece of paper? It's black! It's black! So it's showing you that Christ is what? It's black. It's, it's very simple. So now, how come they don't teach us this in church? How come they don't teach this in church? Huh? It's generations of conditioning. Watch this. Give me that in Sirach chapter 14 and uh, let's read verse 5. I'm going to show you, because he said something that's very important. If I give you an image, because what they say, an image speaks more than a thousand words. I don't have to say nothing to you. You come up with the conclusion of your, uh, on your own, and then you lie to yourself. Now, when that generational trauma comes, <clears throat> when it's time for you to make money, to survive more in this United States of America, guess what you'll do? Guess what you'll do? I have to, hey, Hector, you're an Israelite from the tribe of Simeon. Remember that. And give us a call. Our number's on the thing, on the flyer. Yeah, yeah, okay. Um, give me that instruction at the 14, let's read verse 5 real quick. The book of Sirach, chapter 14 and verse 5. He that is evil to himself, to whom will he be good? So, hey, hey, Hector, look at that. Look at God. Won't he do it? <laughs> hey. Hey, you tried to get on the bus, God sent you right back, huh? <laughs> Read that again. Hey, Hector, just remember what I'm what I'm trying to show you because I see that you're kind of like everywhere. Pay attention. God, 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 God told the bus to deny you for a reason. I don't know. Uh, you're here for a reason. What we're trying to show you is that the so-called blacks, the Hispanics, and the Native American Indians are 
the Israelites. That's right. That's right. your true biblical name. You got that, Hector? And then you come from a tribe. It's not like I'm, I'm picking on you. But I'm just, you come from a tribe, and that tribe is called Simeon. That is your true identity on the earth. You have lost that identity, and they gave you an image of Jesus for you to worship. Now, when you start looking at other black people like yourself, the generational trauma kicks in. Why does it kick in? Because they'll show you an image and you come up with that description on your own. Right. What you start doing is this, read. He that is evil to himself, you start hating yourself. He that is evil to himself is called self-hate. Read. To whom will he be good? So how are you going to be good to the next person? Because the foundation of the Bible, the two greatest commandments is what? Love God. Neighbor as you love yourself. So now if I get an image that's in front of me right now, and it's showing me that I ain't shit. Guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to start hating myself, and I'm going to hate the others that surround me. So because I hate the others that's around me, I'm going to sell them. I'm going to whore out my, way, uh, the, my women. I'm going to prostitute them. I'm going to do a whole bunch of stuff. So now when it comes to me fighting, it's like I just black out. But now when I go to a white neighborhood, guess what you'll do? You have all the patience in the world. He'll, he'll come around, yes sir, yes sir, I'll do whatever you want me to do, I'll do everything, but when it comes to your brother, hey nigga, hey shut up nigga, I'll run this, this me, this me homie, and we start talking like that, and we'll be all crazy, now continue reading, he shall not take pleasure in his goods, there is none worse than he that envieth himself, so you see what God says, there is nothing worse than somebody that hates himself, why? Because he'll do any and everything to kill his brother, to hate his sister. That's what God is saying. All because we disobeyed the commandments of God. Jeremiah chapter 17 and verse 5. We'll put, you know what we'll do because we have that self-hate? We'll put, uh, what do they do? They, they do this on the islands too. Cause my mom used to do this to me. They'll bleach your skin. They'll start bleaching their skin, and women, what they'll do, they uh, they make their pin on a pin on a relaxer, relaxer. They'll put relaxer in their hair, and not understanding that stuff gives you brain damage because why you're trying to look at the white woman. You put a damn, you put a damn, uh, what is it called? Yellow, yellow blonde hair in your in your head, thinking that like you doing it, but you looking like a black highlighter. Like, 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 come on, come on, sis. <laughs> You got on red hair, you got on green hair, all types of stuff, and you, you, uh, other, the other nations, what they start looking at you as is a fool, because you're putting their hair that they have provided you, because you couldn't grow your own, because God cursed you, contact eyes, eyelashes, all of that stuff. Because we self-hate. Now watch this. Jeremiah chapter 17 and verse 4. This is the reason why we self-hate. It will be. And understand this. We'll pass that self-hate down to the next generation, to the next generation, to the next generation. Read. The book of Jeremiah chapter 17 and verse 4. Read out. And thou, even thyself, shall discontinue from thy heritage that I gave thee. So what God said? I, and thou shalt even thyself says that eventually what you're going to do, you're going to forget. So now I have to send people out here for you to remember because you stop remembering your God. Hello, Israel. This is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right, I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is 
is you. And finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord. His word, his word.